Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for May 2024. These readings are for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to have both a money and a love reading today. There is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box below if you're interested in that one. We're going to kick things off with a message from the Edgar Casey Inspirational Quotes deck. This one's a little bit hardcore, so be okay with that. He means well. Don't feel sorry for yourself if you have chosen the wrong road. Turn around. Okay, say a bit of sage advice there from Edgar. <laughs> okay, as we always say, though, you see, life is about course corrections and winding pathways. We're going to start with the money reading here. What advice do you have for Sagittarius, please, to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Sagittarius need to know about money, please? Okay. All right, we will do a four-card reading with another oracle card. In the past, you've got the Seven of Swords, you've got the Nine of Wands, but the sun is in the outcome. I like that. And the nine of cups. So if you've really taken a kick to the crotch financially here and been misled or something where you're like, I can almost not do this. You have such a better turn of events coming in. This seven of swords for somebody too, if they lost paperwork of yours, even if it was something like a Google form and you went, why didn't I get my responses? I should have done that, but it was seemed tedious. Something where I feel like there's some careless nonsense around you and it's just annoying. And it it really, it does create a ripple effect. And if it was something else, like you were dealing with somebody in terms of if you're buying something or even selling something and they kept misplacing things. I get that big time. Now, if you actually had a theft here too, because this can be somebody who just doesn't prepare well, of course we know. He runs up and just grabs all those swords with his bare arms. That just seems crazy. Bring a box or something. But if you do have somebody who actually did steal from you, I do feel like with this Knight of Wands, you're stretched like a rubber band, but you are coming back. There's a psychic wound here, though. There's something about this that I feel did a number on you. Ultimately, nines are about completions or realizations and their attainment cards. So it really brings in a new beginning that's going to give you some perspective and clarity. And I feel like you're not going to have to go through this again. Now, if you lost a job too, and they strung you along and made it seem like everything was, uh, I heard, hunky-dory, and, and then it wasn't. It's like, yeah, it was fine until I got laid off. I do feel like you may not have seen it coming. I just feel like something here went south in an unexpected way. And I, maybe that's what the, the Edgar Casey message was all about. You know, I, I said it was hardcore because it seems a little bit harsh, but I do feel like that's part of the deal sometimes. Our good nature, our, our openness to other people, our willingness to trust. Sometimes we learn from that. We get lessons, okay? Especially if something did not seem right to you along the way, like it, you were a bit suspicious about it. However, thank God for this one. The sun is everything. The sun will rise on you again. If you are standing at that point where you're really just taking one day at a time, and you know what that means, right? When you're doing one day at a time, you go and things are dark, right? The day the, the day is dark. You don't, there's uncertainty. You don't know where to go next. You go as far as you can see. And when you get till as far as you can see, you go to a little bit farther, you keep moving forward just as much sight as you can seem to muster. However, it's like this is this is what you're walking into where it's not that tenuous feeling, that tightness of, oh my God, this is what is happening next. No, this is where everything's illuminated for you. There's gains here big time. This is a new energy. It's like the thing that you've been waiting on is here. So if it's a job, it'll, I feel like, be the best job and it'll be better than the last one. Not only because it's more stable, but I feel like it offers more money and there's more what it feels like is a compensation, like time off and insurance is better and things like that. And so if you're starting something too, if you have a new business and you took a bunch of hits with that, I do feel like you have a new opportunity if you actually had to close it. I'm talking about somebody where it was an actual ending. I feel like you have a new opportunity. So this nine of cups, high vibrational energy, 
he is sitting pretty. So whatever didn't work out is because you have something better. The waves and the, the curtain here, the tablecloth and the waves and the sun and in his gown too, that's high vibrational. It's a symbol of that high vibrational energy. So better things are here. And like I said, this is one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. So you're going to be in the right place at the right time. It could not work out any better. From whatever, it's darkest before the dawn, whatever this crap was, you are moving forward. <clears throat> All right, you've got transformation. Does not surprise me. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. And that's exactly what these cards are saying. The cards don't lie. We know that. And what you're seeking is also seeking you. So let's see about love and what's coming up there. What advice do you have for Sagittarius to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What does Sagittarius need to know about love? All righty. You have the Ten of Cups, interesting, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Well, it, if this is related to your finances, that would sure make a lot of sense. You have a couple here, okay? This is, in, this is the energy coming towards you. They move away from something that does not serve them. It's not a singleton. This is not a singular person. It's two people walking. So I do want to point that out. I feel like if something in the past, you've got the Happy Family card, you've got that rainbow after the storm, but if something shifted, again, like you went through a financial issue too and you're resolving that, I do feel like if it is about love, you may make some changes and that's when I feel like love comes in because your advice here is the emperor, the father of the tarot, the great architect of the tarot. So even if you went through a breakup too and you know that person was not for you, if they had a lot of issues, unresolved issues, and that they were not willing to acknowledge I feel like they're saying it's time for you to set your target a little higher because when you aim for those low, low targets, you know what happens? You'll hit them every time and you'll go, how did I end up with this schlump? What happened here? So I do feel like they're saying it's time I heard rise above. Now, I also feel like too, whoever you're attracting, if it is a new love, whoever this is, is a rock, okay? Especially with that King of Pentacles energy, that's a partner for life. So even if you've broken up, I feel like that's what you're bringing in. It's also to somebody who's going to be quite stable financially. So if your ex had to, you know, file bankruptcy, look, people do it. Or had a turn of events where they lost something, like we talked about a business closing. If that wasn't you and it's an ex too, and you said that just took our relationship out with it. I see a drain, you know, like water going down a drain. And for somebody, something financial, I feel like had a huge impact on that. But I do feel like with this, this is a, there's an energy of humility here. So even if it was you and you say, yeah, it was me that lost the job, it was me that lost the business, it did something for you to, to ground you. And I also feel like, too, to open your life up to love. So those of you, too, that you, you didn't have a serious relationship, but it's just sort of you've gone through some financial stuff, I feel like it's all connected in these two readings. So this Five of Pentacles is a change. Now, if you, again, if you are in a relationship, I feel like you may be changing and moving away from some things that may have been a financial drain. And I actually feel like you're going to be a lot happier without it. It's not stuff that even serves you. And so if you have memberships to things like a fitness center you never go to, or you have multiple, I got country club too, okay guys? So don't be sad if that's you. Where you go, we're not even using it. We have to force ourselves to eat the minimum amount of dining. Or even if it's an area where you say, this is just too expensive and it's so stressful, the traffic's murderous, I hate it. And I feel like you're going to make a change and it's all coming from here. This will turn on your heart light, believe it or not. It's order, it's discipline, but it's a total match. And I also feel like too, in a relationship, it's going to be one that's free of a lot of stress. So if there are a lot of outside stressors weighing on your love life, I feel like you're going to get rid of all of those. Love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. That security and self-worth are huge in this reading. It's all about that, I'm telling you. So, good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.